So with the recent announcement of iOS 16 for the iPhone, we finally get to see what new features have been added this year to the newest operating system update. And there's definitely some pretty useful features that I think a lot of people would think would have happened years ago, but they're finally here, uh, including some great ones for iMessage, which I think a lot of people are gonna be extremely excited for. So make sure you stick around for the full video to learn the top five most useful new features for iOS 16. And we'll also go over a bigger bulk of features as well. But if you're new to the channel here on Upgrade Guy Tech Reviews, we do a ton of different reviews from Amazon products, et cetera. And we also do a lot of phone news. So if you wanna stay up to date with smartphones, different updates, different new phones, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and check out the top five features for iOS 16. Hmm. Okay, so let's just get right into it and look at the top five new useful features. And that's what we'll look at first before we go over a bigger preview list of it. So here we are on an article that talks about the top five features and we're gonna discuss them a little bit. So the first one is live activities. So this seems to be a new feature for your lock phone, um, which you can kind of book or which will work with notifications for apps. So probably things such as delivery services, things such as Uber, um, you know, maybe even for your, I was thinking about for your like calendar reminders, you know, maybe you could set something like going to pick up my son in uh, five hours, you know, and maybe you could sync that with their phone somehow um, to kind of estimate that arrival. So I think there's a lot of different ways they can go here. You know, they talk about Starbucks status order. So I think for now it's gonna be mostly on um, services and stuff like that, but who knows where that will continue to go um, in the future. But that's the first uh, top five feature for iOS 16. Let's go ahead and move on. And this next one I think is gonna have everybody excited and that is edit or unsend an iMessage. Yes, all of us, all of us, listen, all, all of us have sent a cringe ass iMessage at some point, um, you know, but you couldn't delete it. It was too late, the, the damage had been done. Uh, but now it looks like uh, any conversation that is unread uh, before they open it, or it looks like 15 minutes after they open it, will allow users to edit or unsend an iMessage. Now, if it's read, I'm gonna assume that you're, you're not going to be able to, but before that, you will for sure. To edit or unsend an iMessage, you'll simply just hold it down. It's gonna be on the same thing where you can send like emojis and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty sweet feature. I love that they added that. So Nintendo Joy-Con support would be the number three new feature coming to iPhone, uh, which is kind of an interesting one. and Phone gaming has turned crazy. Like I know when I when I got my first iPhone, I think I had the iPhone 4 or the 4S, where like phone gaming was like three or four games. Now there's like hundreds of games and like super high quality games. Like I think there's Apex Legends on, you know, iPhone, right? So that's pretty insane. And adding Joy-Con support, I'm assuming, you know, obviously there's third company, third party companies will make some sort of attachment where your phone goes in, the Joy-Con slip on, and now you have a nice, adapter to it, um, which will be a nice little feature. So that's coming to uh, iOS 16 as well. Uh, very handy. Now, number four we're looking at is Apple Pay order tracking. Okay, so Apple Pay on iOS 16 is gaining built-in order tracking information in the wallet for online orders completed via uh, Apple Pay. So if you pay via Apple Pay, it looks like it's going to let you know when it's coming, what the order number is, uh, potentially what the the what am I thinking of? The shipping, right? Your shipping number. Um, so you can actually track online shipping and stuff like that. Um, and it'll make the tracking process a lot easier. Um, so I don't know, obviously, uh, Amazon doesn't support Apple Pay, uh, but if they ever did, right, that would be an interesting kind of conglomerate where maybe Amazon and Apple could potentially, since everything is bought off Amazon anyways, could potentially, you know, unite and uh, make some sort of awesome feature there. You know, that would probably never happen, but... Uh, Amazon's more likely to create their own phone anyways. <laughs> and then it looks like fitness app without Apple Watch. So it seems like now, even without your Apple Watch, you'll be able to really utilize the fitness app. Um, even if they don't own an Apple Watch, uh, the app features a daily activity ring that relies on the iPhone's motion sensor to estimate a person's calorie burn. So they're just assuming uh, that your phone is always on you in this case, or you know when it's not, obviously you're not tracking anything. 
So let's look at some of the other features that are coming to iPhone. Uh, we're gonna glance over some of these. Um, so they have things such as a lock screen gallery, um, which is browse a gallery of many options, each with a unique backdrop stylized view of the date, time, and information you can see at a glance. Um, there's widget kit API, uh, which is something that I think uh, will make things a lot easier when it comes to you know making your own widgets and your own uh, setups for your device. Uh, there's Apple Collections, which is choose from a set of dynamic, classic, and landscape lock screens. Ooh, wow. Great job, Apple. Um, it looks like some more lock screen stuff and some more focused stuff with filters, easier setup, iCloud shared photo. So you can now, sh I remember that they were talking about this feature uh, in the Apple, um, whatever they call it, the press conference. And I thought it was super lame. It was like share photo libraries with your family. Uh, which I don't know, like who's really going to use that, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Now here's what the message is. We talked about edit a message and unsend a message. You can mark them as read. Recover recently deleted messages within 30 days of deleting them. Share play via iMessage. Share synchronized activities like music, movies, workouts, games, and much more with friends. That's really cool. Um, so you can maybe throw on it. I think Netflix already has a shared watch, right? Um, but I think it has to be under the same account though. So collaboration invites and message collaboration APIs. Okay, really cool. And some new mail stuff, Safari, we don't care about too much, passkeys, who cares about those? Live text and videos, cool. Um, they'll make things a little easier for shorts creators and stuff. Apple Pay, home, health, fitness. Wow, lots of new stuff. Okay, I think we'll call it there though. I think we got to the points that I really cared about and some of the best new features, but as you can see, iOS 16 has long, long, long laundry list of new features coming. So thank you everybody. Hopefully you learned a thing about iOS 16 coming to your iPhone very soon. I'll see everybody in the next one.